Hi, what is up guys? Karma Medic here and welcome back to another dose. I'm really excited about today's video. I'm going to be reviewing Medify's personal statement course writer. I'm also going to be reviewing their personal statement review service and I'm really excited to show it to you guys because I think it's going to be very beneficial when it comes to writing that personal statement. And of course a big thank you to Medify for sponsoring today's video. I'm really happy to work with them to show you guys a service that I think will be very useful. I'm going to go through all the different features, show you guys how it works so that you guys can decide if it's something that's going to be beneficial for you. Now right before we jump into the video, I got this glass jar and I filled it with M&Ms of the same color as the Karma Medic logo. I did that to commemorate our 1k subscriber goal. So I showed this to you guys on my Instagram and I asked you to guess how many M&Ms were in this jar. Somebody actually guessed it right, then it appears that they've deleted that comment. If you guys want to guess how many M&Ms are in this jar, I'll shout you out in the next video. So there's two services that Medify offers when it comes to personal statements. One is the personal statement writer course and the other one is the reviewing of your actual personal statement. For the personal statement review service, I'm actually gonna submit my own personal statement that I wrote last year and I'm gonna have the professional markers mark it and give me feedback. Not gonna lie, I'm pretty nervous, but hopefully it comes back positive and we can work through the comments together. For now, let's start with the personal statement writer course. So I know when it comes to writing the personal statement, a lot of people are really unsure of where to start. A lot of people are just not sure if what they've written is good or if their draft is good. Having a reference to get some feedback off of can be extremely useful. What I really like about the Medify course writer is that it breaks down the personal statement into six easy sections. And it goes through each one of those sections in detail. It gives you advice, it gives you examples, and it gives you a video. And then all those things should help you to easily write that part of your personal statement and you can bring it all together in the end. Let's jump to my computer so you guys can see what I'm talking about. All right guys, so now I'm on the computer and you should be able to see my screen. So if we log into the personal statement writer course, this is what you're greeted with. You can see here on the left, the six sections that I told you it breaks the personal statement down into. So under each of these six sections on the left, you have a couple of components. You have the advice section and you have a video included there as well. You have examples, which we'll come to in a sec. And then you have this text box here. So while you're reading all the advice and the examples, if something inspires you, you can start to build out and write your personal statement in this text box. For each of these sections, we have advice. And this usually tells you what it is that you should be thinking about when writing this section of your personal statement, some of the ways that other people have structured their personal statement, some of the things that other students might have talked about. And you can read through this here, for example, for Why Medicine, it talks about how some students prefer to structure their personal statement around personal, family or friend illness, academic interest, empathy. There's of course more than one way to write your personal statement. This gives you a couple of ideas for you to get started off of to build out your own ideas from. A good reflection should include ideas when, how, and why is similar to what I talk about in interviews with the star, the situation, task, assessment, or action, and result or reflection. Now, if you guys thought that this advice wasn't enough to get you sparked and motivated and inspired to start writing your own personal statement, there's an example section. Can you believe this? Not one, not two, but six different examples of how to write this part of the personal statement. Honestly, this for me is invaluable. I wish that I had someone else's personal statement to build off of. I'm sure that would have helped me so much. Obviously, you don't wanna copy anything that's here. You don't even wanna paraphrase anything that's here. But the great thing about this is it gives you so many different ideas for you to build off of. After reading all of these different examples and all of the advice, you should definitely be inspired to think about your own experiences and your own reasons for studying medicine and how you can start to build those out in the form of a personal statement. There's also a video tutorial to sort of help tie everything together. I've muted it here so that it doesn't shout at us. Once you've read through the advice and the examples, you can start to write here. You can build out your part of the personal statement so that you can have all the different sections saved and then eventually you can bring them all together. So how much does all of this cost? Let's see. I'm gonna go to Google Chrome, medify.co.uk, hit that personal statement writer section. I'm gonna scroll down, pricing, just 10 pounds will grant you access to the personal statement writer. 10 pounds that's the cost of three cups of coffee in london for me you honestly can't go wrong this has so much value in it all right i hope that gives you guys a good idea of what the personal statement writer course is like hopefully you can decide for yourself if you think it's valuable for you now for part two for medify's personal statement review service they actually mark your personal statement based on eight different categories which you can see here but this is exactly how schools are going to mark your personal statements they're going to look at these eight things on their rubric and see if it fits your personal statement almost all medical schools will state very openly what their rubric is and what it is that they're looking for in personal statements from their applicants. For example, let's take a look at King's College London. So I have this link over here. You guys can find it by just going over to the KCL webpage or doing some Googling. This is all public information. And really, you should do lots and lots of research when you're writing your personal statement, when you're applying to medical schools 
to make sure that your application best fits the schools that you're applying to. Your personal statement is one of many factors, blah, blah. We're looking for evidence of appropriate commitment to and realistic appreciation of, you guys know I always mention that, academic, physical, and emotional demands of a medicine program and career. They expect you to have undertaken some work experience and had maybe some observation in a medical setting. If this is not possible, we look for evidence that you worked in a setting where you can interact with the general public, e.g. in a pharmacy, check out a restaurant, which I talked about in my work experience video as well. Links somewhere here. So look, you guys can read this for yourself in your own time, but Kings openly states all the things that they're looking for in the personal statement. So when you're writing your personal statement, if you want to apply to Kings, you might want to have a look at this, <laughs> at this piece of information over here. Draft one has been submitted and this statement has been reviewed. I can click to see the feedback. So let's see what they had to say. Fingers crossed it's okay. Ooh, that's right, that's right. All right, thank God, I was worried for a little bit, but this is good. This is my first time reading this feedback, by the way. So we're gonna go through it together. First things first, total score 91%. That sounds really good to me, I'm happy about that. Use of English is an A, thank God, it better be. It was edited multiple times by my twin sister and then my girlfriend as well, who are both lawyers. Category breakdown, okay. So I can see the average Medify user in gray and then my score in green for each of these sections, cool. So it seems that I'm well above the average in all the sections, which is awesome. And I guess now let's take a look at each part individually. So let's start with commitment to medicine, valid reasons to study medicine, enthusiasm for medicine. So how the student came to their career choice demonstrating an interest in medicine. My score 80% and this, oh, okay. So this is reviewer number one, this is reviewer number two. Ooh, reviewer number two didn't think I had a lot of motivation to study medicine, all right. I see your reviewer number two, I see you. Okay, looking at work experience, I got two 90s, which is great because I really did quite a lot of work experience. I had shadowed two surgeons. I had worked in three hospital laboratories. I'm happy the work experience was enough. Evidence of reflection, okay, 90% and 100%, that's great. Like I said in my interview videos and in my personal statement videos, go watch them. I'll have them linked in the description somewhere on the screen here. You have to, have to, have to reflect. The most important part of any story or any work experience that you talk about is your reflection, what you learned, what you took from it, all of that good stuff. Okay, looks like we have a couple of comments here already. Your introductions where you're trying to grab the admissions tutors and make your case as to what attracts you to medicine and makes you a good candidate. It should be concise and explicitly state what your motivations are. You write, Here's the quote. Although my altruistic character has always been an instinctual part of me, the decision to pursue a medical career was reached after careful consideration and in-depth exploration of what such a career entails. True. This is good because you demonstrate that you've taken into consideration the details of a career in medicine, which suggests that you are aware of both the rewarding and demanding nature of this career. However, this is a rather short introduction, definitely true, which doesn't highlight specifically why you wish to study medicine. You later write, both of these experiences motivated me beyond doubt to pursue medicine as my career. It is good that your work experience helped to confirm your interest in medicine as a career, but you should try to be explicitly clear as to where your interest in medicine first began. All right, guys, take notes. If you have your pen and paper out, write this down right here. Later in your statement, you write, I discovered the root of my passion for medicine by providing comfort and care to patients in the absence of their loved ones, and as well as when they were reluctant to ask for company. This is excellent because you have highlighted where your passion for medicine stems from. However, it's important that you discuss this in your opening paragraph. Take notes, boys and girls. Note number two. All right, let's move on to work experience. Ideally, you should dedicate one paragraph to your work experience and this should come straight after your introduction, okay? I like when you wrote by observing medical staff in the hospital, blah, blah, blah. I understood the nature of a career as a physician, noting the necessity of interstaff collaboration. This is good because you've highlighted what you learned what you learned from these observations. To improve this, you could link the point regarding interstaff collaboration to the multiplayer and disciplinary team and discuss the importance of this team for the effective care of patients. Fair enough, that's good feedback to know that that didn't quite come across, but that was my original intention. It is great that you discuss your work experience in a secondary care setting. If you've completed any work experience in a primary or tertiary care setting, you should also include this. So like I said in my work experience video, you wanna try and accumulate as much work experience as you can in as many different settings as you can. And here we go. It's true evidence of reflection. Good reflection is one of the hallmarks of a good personal statement. In particular, you must reflect on what you observed during your work experience as well as what you've learned during your studies. And in your volunteering activities, considering how your experiences will prepare you to be a medical student and doctor. Writing about a select few experiences and backing them up with high quality reflections is better than writing about many experiences with only superficial reflections. I totally agree. You show evidence of good reflection when you write, I gained an appreciation of what it means to study medicine by performing experiments in lab and learning key concepts. 
This is good because instead of just writing what you did during your time at U of T, you've highlighted what you learned from this and it is excellent that you link this to gaining an insight into studying medicine. Great. Overall, you demonstrate an excellent ability to reflect throughout your statement. Well done. Thank you, reviewers. One and two. Appreciate the kind words. Professional qualities. Evidence of transferable skills demonstrating your aptitude for medicine. Academic achievements, 100%. Leadership, teamwork, and communication, 80 and 70%. Work-life balance, 90%. Evidence of empathy, 85% average. Academic achievements. The academic tutors reading your personal statement are looking for evidence that you're willing to go beyond the scope of your curriculum and show a willingness and eagerness to learn. I like when you write, develop my critical thinking and scientific writing skills, as well as my ability to analyze and critique scientific literature. Many candidates list what modules they completed for their grades or their project, which is ineffective and a waste of characters. What you do here is excellent. Thank you. You have concisely reflected upon your previous degree and the way that you link this to the skills you gained is brilliant. Discussing a particular field of medicine which interests you always scores high marks with admissions tutors. So it is good when you write of particular interest to me is the rapidly expanding research on the microbiome, which I did a little bit of for my research this summer. So I guess it kind of came true. Leadership, teamwork, and communication are three fundamental attributes a doctor must process. You write, being in charge of designing and testing a fluorescence detection platform for in-space biological research demanded decisive leadership, clear communication, and effective coordination. You could improve this by ensuring that you give two different examples to demonstrate times we were able to. Okay. I then demonstrate my teamwork skills by talking about basketball. To improve here, you could link this back to the importance of teamwork skills in medicine. I 100% agree. I sort of wrote this just to squeeze it in there to talk about a little bit of the activities that I enjoy doing outside of school. Reflecting on that a little bit more and linking it to previous parts of my personal statement I think would have definitely been a good idea. Work-life balance. Medicine is both a course and a career is strenuous. Therefore, the ability to relax is vital. It's imperative that you demonstrate that you have a healthy work-life balance. It's great to see that you have hobbies and interests outside of medicine when you write. My demanding academic life is balanced through filming and editing lifestyle videos which have gathered over 5,500 views. Wow, I was very proud of uh, my other channel <laughs> where I had a total of 5,500 views. Wow, come a, come a long way on YouTube, damn. Um, anyway, evidence of empathy. Empathy is one of the key attributes you must show that you possess in your personal statement. Remember, empathy is shown when somebody takes time to listen to a patient and tries to understand their point of view. Here I wrote, during rounds, I spent time building relationships by empathizing with patients of all ages and various cultural backgrounds. I discovered the root of my passion for medicine by providing comfort and care to patients in the absence of their loved ones, as well as when they were reluctant to ask for company. It would be even better if you gave a specific example of a time you were talking to a patient so that's originally what I had, but it was taking up so many characters that I decided to cut it in the end and give this a slightly more generalized statement. Conclusion, a good conclusion should be about three to four lines. Don't bring any new ideas into your statement. Instead, you should summarize with key points that you'd like your tutors to remember. You have done exactly this, awesome. My strong involvement in the medical field and deep scientific interest have built a solid foundation upon which I can continue serving the community through my career as a physician. I like how you sell yourself there using your strengths and previous experiences as examples. You could also demonstrate why you are a suitable candidate by using the rule of threes. Use of English, AAA. The structure of your statement is generally good. Fair enough, fair enough. I'm, I'm not that great with structure. You should always use the English spelling with an S rather than with a Z. Nah, come on, Z is my favorite. Does anyone else use a Z instead of an S? Final comments. Overall, this is an excellent personal statement. You reflect brilliantly upon your work experience and discuss how your undergraduate degree will help support you through a career in medicine. Well done and best of luck. Awesome, so that was a lot of feedback. Um, this video is gonna be a lot longer <laughs> than I thought it would be. That was really detailed. They went in on every single aspect and gave me a lot of feedback. They've really gone into a lot of detail more than I expected they would, to be honest. So how much does all of this cost? should say somewhere down here. Yeah, so at the time of recording this video, there's an early bird rate of 65 pounds. I guess that's gonna change to 90 pounds when the early bird rate disappears. And then once they've sent you the first draft, you can get a re-review for 45 pounds. I realize that this is a little bit more on the premium side, but genuinely, I'll say what I've always said to anyone who's asked me if they should invest in uh, UK cat question banks or books or BMAT courses or whatever. If you're gonna invest in something that helps you get into medical school in the future, that helps give you an advantage, gives you an edge, then I would say do it. An investment now, 65 pounds here, 
is so minuscule compared to the fact that you're actually going to be in medical school. I genuinely believe that if you can afford it and it's not going to break the bank, that it is going to be worth it. I hope that gives you guys a good idea of what the Medify personal statement course writer and then review service is like. Hopefully I've given you enough information that you can make your own informed decision about whether you think any of these services are good for you. If you guys like this video, definitely leave a like, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys all in the next one next Thursday. Peace.